Hello and welcome to another tutorial where we're going over the Piano Adventure series. This is the level one lesson book in the second edition and today we're going to look at Forest Drums which I am dedicating to my awesome piano student Daniel. He's actually learning one called Forest Song and if you're learning one called Forest Song I believe they are exactly the same. However, if they're not I will do another tutorial where it shows the differences but we are going to technically be learning Forest Drum. Let me play it, and then we will talk about it. Okay, let's talk about this fun song. So we are playing a lot of fifths, a new interval we just learned about, uh, and we're playing in a D position rather than a C position. This is middle C, this is bass C. Okay, so we're not playing the treble C area. So here we go. We are learning about a new rest. Your new rest is a half rest and a whole rest. Your half rest gets two counts, just like a half note, and your whole rest gets four counts, or it is a rest for an entire measure. So even if you had a measure of three beats, it would still be just for that whole measure. So any measures you see that have that little block, even if it's hard to tell which one it is, if it's sitting on the line, or if it's kind of top up against a top line that a whole note would be, if there's no notes in that measure, you know it's a whole note rest. Whereas if there are notes in the measure, you know it's a half note rest and it's sitting on top. Looks like a little top hat to me because it's a line with a little square. Okay, so the beginning, what I would suggest doing is counting like this. Half rest. One, two. So you can count the one, two for the rest, or you can say half rest, like it says in the book. It's also going to get gradually louder. Start soft. One, two. A little louder. One, two. One, two. And now we're going to hold it. We have some ties. We're going to hold it while our right hand plays this F right here. Okay, then we restrike. Measure nine. Lots of steps, but here we're going to skip. Skip down, skip down, skip back up. Now your fourth finger plays a G. Skip down, step down. And the whole part, measure nine through 12, your left hand is just holding these. Now, the next page we have, but then we actually shift our hand down. So it looks like the beginning, and it sounds like the beginning, but we need to shift down. So from D, you shift down to C, and then back. One more time. Shift down, back up. Right hand plays. Measure 17 is the same. Shift down, back up, hold. Right hand plays. So we go. And then the left hand plays, going down like this. And on the last note, we play a fifth. This is just like the beginning, all the way through measure 28. And then our ending is much like the beginning, but instead of going soft to loud, we go loud to soft. A little softer. And now really soft, down an octave. So we'll go down to this D position down here. Okay, let me know if you have any questions. Please like and subscribe to help support the channel, and good luck.